Not yet, but in a future unit, we're going to talk about other metadata schemas other than Dublin Core. And of course, the abstract model is intended to be used by all metadata schemas, any metadata schema. And the point is to make it easier to share data um, amongst and between systems that use different schemas. So we need to talk about interoperability now, and we'll revisit it when we talk about other metadata schemas. Um, and we need to talk about interoperability now because Dublin Core articulates a framework for what interoperability means. Now, all along, I've been using the analogy of metadata schemas analogous with natural language, with human languages. And uh, this is where that analogy breaks down. Because if I speak English, then I can communicate with anyone who speaks English anywhere in the world. There is not a level of formality to spoken English. I mean, sure, there's more and less formal English. I speak American English, which is... Um, so I understand, perceived to be a less formal version of English than, say, the Queen's English. But I can understand and be understood by someone who speaks the Queen's English. There is not this formal definition for natural languages where there is for metadata schemas. The Dublin Core articulates these four levels of interoperability and let's start with level one. Uh, this level corresponds to using the natural language definition of Dublin Core terms. This is very informal interoperability. All you need to do to comply with level one is use the shared semantics, the language of Dublin Core. You need to use the elements, and that's it, right? You're saying, you know, instead of author or filmmaker, you're saying creator. But you don't need to do anything more than that, right? In other words, you're using the vocabulary of Dublin Core, but not the rest of the infrastructure that exists to support the use of Dublin Core. You don't need to do any of the more complicated things that we've just been looking at that higher levels of interoperability require. Level two corresponds to implicit or explicit use of RDF semantics. This level moves beyond just using Dublin Core terminology to formal definitions of that terminology and the relationships between terms, right? And how are those formal definitions created? Using RDF. Remember, the abstract model articulates all of the constructs in the universe of Dublin Core and of metadata generally. And those constructs are defined in RDF documents. Level two requires explicit or at least implicit use of those RDF semantics. You want to say, well, an element is defined as a type of a property, but you don't necessarily need to point to the RDF document to formally define what a property is and how to interpret it. Level three, on the other hand, corresponds to explicit use of the abstract model. In other words, you really do need to point to the RDF document that formally defines property if you're going to say that you're using these elements which are a type of property. Level three interoperability must comply with the abstract model and in order to comply with the abstract model it has to use make explicit use of these RDF documents. Now, the level four 
interoperability is the most formal of all. It must comply with the Dublin Core description set constraints. Remember from the abstract model, a description set is the set of all statements that you make about a resource and that a metadata record is made up of one and only one description set. Right? So level four articulates constraints on how to create a description set. In other words, constraints on how a metadata record should be constructed. So taken as a whole, each level more and more precisely defines or constrains your use of Dublin Core and Dublin Core terminology. Each level leans more heavily on formal definitions on the RDF documents in which the semantics of Dublin Core are defined. Now, the side effect of leaning more and more heavily on RDF is that each level of interoperability is more usable by algorithms, by computing, but is less and less human readable. 